um, handing out a little resource. Um, if you could have one between two, or I think they've got 60 of them. So just while that's happening, hopefully you can just look over one. That would be good. Um, while that's happening, I'll introduce myself. Um, my name's Amy. I'm from Mossman High School. I feel like a bit of a phony having stood up and said I'm head teacher. I'm a currently acting head teacher. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I, I'm in my fourth year and I just thought I'd kind of jump up and show you my new favourite toy that I am playing with. Um, and it's called Clickers. And I believe that the name comes from um, Picture Clickers. Okay? Um, I ummed and ahed as to what questions I'd actually present to you. Um, and I, I decided, you know, let's mix it up. I've actually put this in the context of just general knowledge, but of course you can adapt it into um, a maths classroom. So basically what you all have in front of you or shared amongst you is a glorified QR code. Um, all of these are available on the website. And basically, if you look at each corner or each side of your diagram, and I'll show you one, um, there's a letter. So A, B, C, or D. And what I'm going to do in a moment is put up some questions and I'm going to gauge for your response. So if you think B is the answer, you find the side with B on the top and you hold it up like that. And what I'm going to do with my phone is actually scan and actually collate your responses. So it's like I started off, um, I started off not that long ago using Kahoot and I love that. Um, this is an alternative to Kahoot. I found that there was issues with Wi-Fi's in schools, so this gets around it completely. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, here's my first question, if it works. And of course, technology is... Yes. True or false, 0 0.3 squared is 0 0.9. So if you think A is right, hold A up. If you think B is right, hold B up. And can I ask when you're doing that to just make sure you're not covering any of the black because that's what I'm going to be scanning. All right? And I'm, I've never done it this far away, but I will give it a go. No, someone didn't get it wrong. Someone held D up. D isn't an option, guys. Whoever that is. <laughs> When I'm doing this in the classroom, um, this, this is my class set, they're laminated, um, and I actually have it assigned per student. So at the moment, because you're all anonymous to me for the most part, um, you've just got guess one, guess two, and if you look at your card, you've actually got a number on it. So I'm currently holding up card 28 of my class set, so whatever, cla whatever card you have, I could actually tell you who got it wrong, but I'm not going to embarrass you. <laughs> um, so in the classroom, um, I wouldn't actually usually have that up because some students would perhaps change their answer depending on what they see other people putting up. You do have the option to have a graph and you do have the option to have that completely <laughs> hit. Completely hit. Um, so I use this a lot for pre-testing. One of my other roles in the school is also SRC coordinator. Um, I went around to Year 7 classes, we have run one representative from each class. I went around and asked them to do their votes and rather than a show of hands, I handed out QR codes or clickers um, and we did the vote that way. So it's very adaptive to any sort of situation. Um, so basically there's an online version, that's where you create your questions, that's where you print your cards off and depending on how much time I have, I'll show you as much as I can with that. As well as that, you've got an app um, on your phone. Android, I think, is coming out. iPhone is what, is, um, what it's currently available on. Um, it's completely free. On my monitor, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually shows the image and it actually shows it scanning. So I might do one question and I might get someone to actually do the scanning for me who is interested, anyone. Perfect, jump up. Here's the next question. I 
Alex has told me. Are you serious? That's going to be the best question ever. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the best question ever. Everybody. Right. Okay, so what about do you think it is? Put it off and um. So you start from here, start from here. And you can see that it actually. Okay, I'll start in the middle. Uh, So the image is, that's actually getting shown on the screen is um, you with either a red box, you've got it wrong, or a green box saying you've got it right. Yeah. But as a teacher, so you can actually um, track progress of your students. Um, and if you've done this for a class, you can actually have it assigned to a student and then go back into the system and actually look, in it, look at it in a bit more detail. I don't so, know responsible that. that's, that's really useful because it's actually quite... Kids don't feel bad. Yeah, so what I really like about this, and might as well reveal the answer, the answer was A, Alaska's the biggest death. Alaska's the biggest state. Um, so what I might just quickly do is show you how you actually develop the questions. Um, if you actually go into a library, I've got a minute, I know I'm going to make this super quick. Um, currently that's all I've done, create a new question, Type it up. Um, one plus one equals zero. I like it. Zero, one, two, window. And you go, okay, the right answer is this one. Save and create. File it. And then it's just there for you to use. Unfortunately, oh, I didn't save. That's all right. You get the idea. Um, unfortunately, it's not shareable. But hopefully that's something they work towards. And one last thing, before I run out of time, this is where you get the cards from. Um, so my class set is a standard class of 40. For you guys, I printed off 63. Um, you can have really big cards, you can have really small cards. It's completely up to you. If you want to ask more questions, come and see me a bit later. I just want to ask, with the, the choosing the correct answer, can you have more than one? I don't know. You can. It's very user-friendly. I'm definitely no expert in the field. But I imagine that that's, oh, I, I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.